When you have an extra thick wall, you need to have a box extender on your electrical boxes. This is an Arlington box extender. I like these ones because they work on any box. They're deeper and they work really well. They're easy to use. These are by Carlon and they work well too, but only with large blue boxes. They will not work on metal boxes or smaller sized boxes. Okay, we are going to change an outlet here, and as you can see, it is recessed. The box is recessed deeply into the wall. So we have to get this out of there and so we have to dig the outlet out from where it was stuffed in there. Make sure you've turned your power off. Okay. So there you see it. Okay. So right off the bat here, you can see the ground wire is uh, not tied together. So we will be changing that shortly. Get my screwdriver set up here and start taking things apart. We're going to remove the wires from the outlet. We're taking out the white neutral wires now. Then we're going to flip it over and take out the two black hot wires. Right now I'm taking out the ground wire, which you can see there is no wire nut connecting those two ground wires together. We will deal with that in another clip coming up. All right, so the wires are in good enough shape. I can just straighten them out. We've got the wire tips are all straightened out now and we are going to take a couple of sections of uh, wire, one black, one white, and one neutral, and we're going to tie the three wires together and that makes it a little easier to work with the wires. You tie all three of them together and stuff them into the back of the box and then you bring out the uh, third section of wire that you just added and attach those to the outlet and so now instead of five wires connected to the outlet you have three and it makes it easier to move and position the outlet into the box so right now i am dealing with the ground wire here the ground wire didn't have a wire nut on it then it was also wound counterclockwise and it needed to be rewound clockwise so that it tightens with the wire nut. So now we have all of our wires have uh, an extra wire section on them. See now there are only three wires that we have to deal with shoving those into the back of the box. There goes the box extender and it's about uh, two and a quarter inches deep. The uh, it's a double layered sheetrock wall. So there's two half inch layers plus about a quarter of an inch gap to the box. So we needed to fill that space by code. And this box extender does a real good job of that. So we stuffed that uh, box extender in there. And now we are stripping the wires, putting a loop on them and tightening the screw down to the outlet. Now we're going to shove the outlet into the extender and we have these long new screws. Uh, first you got to remove the old screws from the outlet and here are the new long screws. So we put those in and stick those in through the extender and it makes a nice clean new installation that is uh, code.
boy. Hi, Leo. Good boy. And there you have it, a new world's record for trying to get a screw in a hole. Okay, we are going to put another box extender in. This is the box extender and it fits inside the box and covers the um, wallboard and paneling from exposure to electrical shock, electrical spark. So let me get this camera positioned here and let us go to town on it. Okay, so let's remove the ground wire. Remember, turn off the power. We're removing the wires from the second outlet on the wall and we're going to straighten out the curled ends and then we are going to attach a section of wire, a white wire, a black wire, and a ground wire. So we will tie the whites together, the blacks together, and the grounds together. And then we will have only one white, one black, and one ground attaching to the outlet. And again, I do that because it makes it easier to manu manipulate the outlet and position it. But also, if in the future the outlet has to be taken out, it does not break the circuit. The circuit will continue to work down the line at other outlets. And what we got going with our ground wire here? Okay. Gonna mess with the ground wire here. that little piece of ground wire in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got the ground clip off the metal box and we are going to put some 14 gauge ground wire in there and stick it back on the box. the ground wires together now I have the new 14 gauge ground wire attached to the box with the clip so I'm going to twist all the wires together clip it put the green wire nut on and what's nice is it lets that wire go through the nut to attach to the outlet and there you go we've fixed the grounding what they had done was the one one wire in here was grounded only to the box and then they just had a loose ground from the other wire in here it was connected to the outlet but it wasn't actually doing anything all right so let's put this 
back in there. Put this back in there. And put our hot wire back in there. Okay. Now we can put our box extender on. Okay, there you go. Strip the neutral wire. Put a loop on it. to make a loop make our loop just a little more off of that screws Let's 
see, maybe these screws will go in easier this time. There we go, got it. I lied. There we go. Okay. So that is how you deal with a thick wall using a box extender. Set it a little bit more. is straight with the line of the wall. Okay. Good boy. 